Hello, everyone, and welcome. I got an unexpected day off from work today. So Lucy and I decided to come to the woods close to home. We're just going to come out and have a little bit of lunch. I'm going to strap on the snowshoes. I was able to walk on the frozen snow up to here because the snow machines come back and forth through here all winter long. But now I'm going in the trail. I'm going to need snowshoes. The snow was soft and it was quite a struggle to get out here. So I didn't film any of the walk in. But now that we're here, I got to get my shovel. I know there's a little bit of a fire pit here. I'm going to see if I can dig that out and clear us out just a little spot to get comfortable. Fire pit is way deeper down than I thought it was. I am not going to bother trying to dig all the way down to the ground. It's just too deep. We have. Two good sized logs. That should work perfectly for what I want to do. It's unseasonably warm today. I think they were saying it's 18 degrees Celsius when I was on my way in here. I brought a jacket in case it gets cool, but the walk in, I did not need it. I brought Lucy's rubber backed mat. Put that here with a blanket for her. Good girl. Okay. So like I said, we're out here for lunch. But we're also out here to test something out. I recently bought a Swiss Army knife. The, uh, the camper edition. It's got the bottle opener with a screwdriver on the end and a wire stripper. It's got a can opener with a smaller flat screwdriver on the end. It's got the small knife. It's got the larger knife. And the saw. Also got the corkscrew. And it's being used by a guy with no fingernails. So let's close these up. It also has a small set of tweezers. And a toothpick. I 
Ha-ha! And the sewing all. Now, don't have my knife on me. Didn't bring a saw. Other than this one. Didn't bring an axe. My plan is to use the saw on here to test it out. Cut a few branches up. I gathered some birch bark and some dried pine needles on the way in. And we're going to light a little fire, make some tea, and make some lunch. So let's go see if we can get this thing to cut some wood. Let's bust out the little mini saw. And see if we can't cut these into smaller pieces. Now, this is not meant as the end-all be-all. It's gonna replace all my saws and all my tools. That's not gonna happen. It just doesn't cut well enough for that. But it does cut fairly well. Great to have in the pocket in case of an emergency. If I need a small fire to warm up or something. Now, it probably takes just a little bit of practice getting used to using this saw. I. Just got this thing not long ago, and I haven't really cut anything with it yet. And I'm sure if I had a stable area to work on. There. So if it's braced, nice and solid, the saw works much better. And it takes a bit of getting used to, just because it's so small and so light, you can't put too much pressure on it, or it just binds. So the whole point of today was to test out the saw blade on that Swiss Army knife and a lot of people have said it works great for uh, using as a scraper for a ferro rod to ignite a fire. So I made myself a deal. I brought no knife, I brought no saw, I brought no axe. All I brought was the Swiss Army knife. I brought my Lixada stove. I cut up some little pieces of wood. I'm going to try and get a fire going. The deal is... If I can get it going with the Swiss Army knife, I get to make a pot of tea and I get to warm up my lunch. If I cannot get the fire going, I'm drinking cold water and I'm eating my lunch cold. So far, we got the wood cut on the way in. I, uh, I found some dead pine needles. So I gathered some of those up. And a whole lot of birch bark. Okay, so that chunk will fit in there nicely.
And this bark is very, very thin and papery. Trying to keep it on the log here and not in the snow. Now the saw blade has a 90 degree spine. Which should be perfect for scraping this ferro rod. Just like so. Now I broke up some smaller twigs. Let's get those in there. And now we'll put in a few of the bigger pieces. Now, let's get some water on to boil. While we're waiting for that water to boil, I went and collected a Y branch. Because I brought a sandwich for lunch. I want to test out the knife. So if I clean up this Y branch, once my tea is ready, I can use it and toast my sandwich over the fire. White branch is ready. So it seems to carve very nicely. I don't need a pot hook today, but I wanted to see if I could carve one. Ooh, it carves thumbs very well.
lesson learned. Just because the blade is small does not mean it isn't sharp. Cuts very well. Luckily, I always have a small first aid kit in the bag with uh, finger and knuckle band-aids in it. Carved it beautifully. The reamer has a nice hole in it to be a sewing awl. You can sew with it, but apparently at the same time, Works great for creating toggles. And putting holes in your toggles. And there you can see the tip of it coming through. Flip it over, go in through that tip. Perfect hole, right through. This is gonna be excellent for a lot of little projects and fine carving work. But now the water's hot. So let me bust out a couple of tea bags. Set that to steep. There's some good heat coming off of there. I had made a sandwich to go to work today, and seeing as the day was canceled, may as well eat it. Mmm. Nicely toasted. Mmm. Cheese is just melted just enough. Fantastic. I think Lucy spotted a squirrel or something. She's been sitting there for about five minutes or so and hasn't moved. He's ready. We were able to carve a nice hole through a toggle. And make a nice notch for a pot hanger. And we got the fire going. All with just a Swiss Army knife camper. It's going to live in my pocket now. It's always good to have an extra blade. And with the knives on there being small, they're perfect for any fine little carving that I might have to do. And it always gives me a spare in case something happens.
if I lose the belt knife, at least I've got this. I know I can get by with it. I'm not stuck knowing that I always have that in my pocket. It'll be a great addition to the gear. But I want to thank you all for coming. It's always wonderful having you around. And if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of it, hit the subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, you may as well hit the notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we put out a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.